Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa's Paper Passion. I am very sorry in advance for the wobbliness of the video. My phone battery died as I was doing this video, so I had to start all over again. But I do want to do this video real quick because I'm going to pack up a swap that I need to be mailing out to a new friend that I made. Her name is Linda, and sorry this glare is from the light that's right here. So let me see if I can make it a little better. Okay, that's a little better. So anyway, um, what you're looking at is a paper pad that I use by Prima. It's called Royal Menagerie, and I love it. I just got this recently. I'll do a quick flip through. Isn't that gorgeous? Prima paper is one of my favorites. Prima and Natilda line of paper because they're very thick. And I, they're double-sided, and I just like using those. But anyway, I don't know if I said this already because it's the second time I'm recording this. But um, Linda and I decided to do a Julie Nutting doll pocket letter swap. And I hadn't done a pocket letter for a long time. And here's the one I made for her. I'm not going to load it up on YouTube. I mean, I'm going to load it up on YouTube and I'm not going to publish it until she receives it. And again, I'm sorry that it's kind of, there's a glare on it. Of course, I put it in a plastic bag and I don't want to take it out because I don't want it to, to, um, get dirty or messed up before I mail it. But anyway, I've been into um, the Julie the, uh, Julie Nutting Doll Club um, that Prima hosts on Facebook, and I'll put the link to, to, um, to the Facebook group in the comments section. But I've, I've had the Julie Nutting Doll Stamps, um, most of them, I should say, since she came out with the ones that are not named. And here's one that I'm working on. I just kind of have it to the side here, but um, I decided to use this one. I don't know her name. I don't know if she had a name, but this is the one I decided to use for the pocket letter. I'm just kind of showing you the things that I've used. This one that I just showed you, this is Rita, and I really, really like her too. I, I just got her recently, and I've been playing with it, with her, I should say, but I do have most of the other ones, and then the other thing I use is, I don't know if you can tell, the ornament. My friend Christine gave me these, um, I think some months ago, and I really like these. They come in a container like that and they still sell them. And they're ornaments that you can color or paper, and they're really, really fun. Actually, I'm going to do something that Carrie from Prima did, and I'm going I'm to use a little mason jar to put them upside down like an. But this one, I just colored her with my colored pencils. Isn't that cute? So what you're looking at here is a charm that I hung from the side. And then what else did I do? I'm very sorry for the glare, but I just wanted to do this quick video. I used um, some trims and some laces and put some doilies in here and a little a wooden cake and the butterfly. This is one of the, the Julie Nutting doll furniture pieces or chipboard. And of course a pinwheel and I did put a couple of goodies on the back for her. My business card for my store and then some extra goodies for her. Not a whole bunch because I'm going to give her some other stuff separately. But anyway, that's my pocket letter for Linda. Or yeah, I hope I said her name right. I'm so sorry. I've done this video a couple of times and I'm tired. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and she will get this in the mail and then I will upload it on post it on YouTube. Thank you everybody for stopping by and go check out the Julie Nutting doll, doll Club on Facebook. It's a lot of fun if you like these Julie Nutting doll stamps and if you don't then you got to get into it because they're a lot of fun. Okay bye everybody.